and the Toronto Blue Jays. Major League Baseball on MLB Network coming up right after this. in retreat as he pulls it in for the first out. Batting second, Patrick. Now at the plate, Stephen, Stephen Vogt. Head-to-head oh. -head history with Marcus Stroman. He's gone three Eight. for six. He's taken him deep once. Sinker to open the A-B in there for strike one. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Into the box, Ryan Healy. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Now the 0-1. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. And here's a ball hit in the air. Smoke. Is there to make the catch, and he'll start things well, out in the top half of the second. Swung on and missed that time. It's 0 1. The 0 1. And that pitch catches the inside corner. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Chopper fouled off to the right. Smoke takes it in. And he'll take this to the bag himself. And the leadoff man set down to start the second. Right fielder, Matt Joyce. Matt Joyce comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Shatters the bat as this is hit to third. Donaldson with a bare hand pickup. How about that? Now that's a gold glove caliber play there. Barehanded grabs might be one of the best looking plays in baseball. It not only takes tremendous body control and focus, but the fielder also needs to have a quick and accurate release to make it out. A highlight real play there for sure. Marcus Semyon is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Oakland. Third base for Trevor number Plouffe three. Stands in as he looks at a called Plouffe. strike. The wind up and the 0-1. Swing and a little tapper. Donaldson bare hands it. Just late. He's safe. Remarkable play just to stop that ball. First but it's going to go into the 17. books as a hit. And the leadoff Yonder man is Alonso. aboard. Oh, but look here. The manager's up and out of the dugout. So it appears he might opt to challenge that last safe call at first. Here's another look at it now. I couldn't really tell when I saw it at full speed. And I'll tell you what. It's still not clear to me from that replay. We'll see if they decide to challenge it after they look at it from a few more angles. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. Dribbled to the right side. Foul ball, strike two. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted it nicely down Bobby around Knight. the bottom of the zone. And when you do that, Jed especially with two Lowry. strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. Therefore, it is Donaldson, and there are two away now. On to second, and he throws it away. And they won't get him as he's able to advance from first to third on what would certainly be scored a throwing error. Roger Davis. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Here's the 0 1. Got a big pass at a slider that gets past him. What a good pitch. He went way out of the zone to try to swing and catch up to that slider. Now you got him thinking. It's 0 2. You can throw him anything you want. Well, no surprise on that one. That's the classic slider down the way trying to get him to chase on that 0 2 pitch. A swing and a miss at a sinker. The striking in and ready for another shot. Stephen Vogt 
He's 0 for 1 thus far. Swung on and missed. It's 0 and 1. And this is fouled back and out of play. Aggressive swings out of him to start this at bat, but he hasn't been able to put the ball in play. Time to use that aggressiveness and make him chase now. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Another one sent foul. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. Here comes another 0 2. Struck him out, so he's set down on strikes for the second time today. I'll tell you right now, this guy has a shutout going, and it's been all business. He's not messing around trying to pick at corners. He's being aggressive in the zone, and he's attacking each and every one of these hitters up to this point. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0 and 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. 0 and 2, here it comes. Lifted down the line in right and back out of play. Count holds it 0 and 2. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Shoots this one over to first. Smoke is there, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batting, left fielder, Chris Davis. Digging in for his second at bat, Chris Davis. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Swung on and missed for the first strike. On, he takes something off there and had him way out in front for strike two. That is a filthy combination. High 90s with the fastball and then that nasty curveball. It's almost unhittable, almost unfair to the hitter. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulder here in inning number five. Grounded up the first baseline. And he'll step on first himself for the out. The batter, number 10. A look at our line score here through the first four. And as we've mentioned, just one hit for these guys this afternoon. Marcus Simeon will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. His pitch count is in a really good place at this point in the game. He's pounding the zone and getting first pitch outs just like he did on the last guy. We might see him work deep into this game if he keeps this up. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? What's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. Here's Trevor Plouffe standing in. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0-1 chopped weakly to the left Donaldson has it throw on to smoke at first and the side is retired eight digging in once again Devin will start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that quite frankly has been non-existent to date no doubt about that Matt they've been completely overmatched to this point one hit through five innings I mean what else can you say about the pitching they face other than it's been fantastic. We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. And the sixth inning opens with a flyout, the one away. Second baseman. Jen First offering Lowry. on its way. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. 50th pitch of the game on its way. And that's in there as well. 0 oh 2 now. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And he struck him out. And that's eight strikeouts thus far. Boy, he's just been setting him up and knocking him down all afternoon. We've seen a lot of punch outs from him where he didn't get much resistance. Three pitches right there, and see you later. Rajay Davis swings and misses there, so he's down 0 1. And a ball popped foul to the right side out of play. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. This is just great pitching. They start him off with the slider to get the strike, and then they bust him in with a fastball. I don't know what he's thinking up there, but they really are messing with his mind right now. Ready with another 0 2. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Now the 0-2 pitch. 
And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here. And the side is Stephen Vogt. Been a strikeout victim Stephen twice in this one. In there, 0 and 1. The 0 and 1 delivery. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. Swing and a ball hits softly on the ground. Donaldson comes up with it. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. Now batting. Next in at the plate is Ryan Healy. 0 for 2 on his line this far. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing in one. That's the advantage of having a good two hitter hitting second in your lineup. He knows he's going to get something to hit because they're going to pitch to him. And now here comes the heart of the order. They've got a great opportunity to get on the board here. Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. That pitch right there, he's trying to keep him from getting his arms extended. If it's out over the plate more, he can obviously do a lot of damage with it. So he notched the backwards K on that one. Ryan Healy goes down for the first out in the seventh inning. In there, and he's ahead 0 2 now. Matt, here we are. Double play situation, and everybody knows he's got that sinker. Maybe get a ground ball and get two, right? But he comes with the fastball right there. Now nobody knows what to see. This is going to be an interesting at bat. So it was a swinging strike three. Chris Davis goes down for out number two in the top half. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Started that swing a bit too early. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. And here's one that barely misses off the inside corner. Two and two. Hey, I appreciate the fact that he's making it. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Thank one left for done. Oakland now Marcus. and nothing's changed out there on the mound well I've been very impressed with how this starter's going about his business Matt he's looked really sharp and it's hard to know if it's had any effect but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in the wind up and the 0-2 pitch grounded down the third baseline but this will wind up foul still 0-2 here's another 0-2 Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. That's four foul balls in a row. He's battling, no doubt. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder How right there, him? and he struck out there twice goes, before man. that one. Trevor. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. Trevor Plouffe is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0 and 2 now. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. There's a swing and a high pop up. And he'll put this away for the second out. Now batting, the first baseman. Ready Yonder once again, Alonso. Yonder Alonso. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And this is fouled back and out of play. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. And he's going to add to the total 14 punch. Lowry now starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count. At least for their own stats, you can't mill in your chances as a professional. Well, he's out in front of that breaking ball right there. Not surprised. I was after that fastball. Nice job of pitching, kind of keeping him off balance. And wow, tough to lay off the fastball there, but it's one and two. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Chop foul over towards the dugout. Got him. And that's number 15 for the ball game. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Here's Rajay Davis now. High pop up. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Up next for Oakland, 
Patrick. Now to the plate, Stephen Vogt. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, and that, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. This is grounded foul. Now what's left of this crowd this afternoon gets to their feet. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And he'll get under it to make the catch. And the Blue Jays get a complete game shutout from their starter as this ball game is over. A 9-0 shutout final in this ball game. The Jays get the win on the heels of four home runs. So that's a wrap for this afternoon.